It was a real class job. I was a real slick customer. Real slick. At least she didn't steal the car, but I would have swapped it for the briefcase at the drop of her hat. As the ether wore off, my gout set in. My doctor wouldn't diagnose it, but all the symptoms were there. I knew what I needed, just like I knew where she'd be headed. Same place she always ran to when she needed a family fix in a bolt hole. Old Aunt Marjorie's. It was her stepping stone to freedom. She wouldn't be sticking around long with that case. I hit the road. My head was running. Tapa Nui flu, chronic fatigue, or if you want to get scientific, fibromyalgia. Big words, but I'm a well-read man. Hell, my name's Reed. And I can usually read people, but I didn't pick Elsie. She'd been real cozy the last couple of weeks. Should have seen it coming. Some of the pills make me a little hazy. There's pills for that too. People say the country is good for you. Not for me, plays havoc with my sinusitis, but once I got that briefcase, I'd be breathing easy. Hello, doll face. Jerry. That was a real neat trick you played with the ether back there. You got something in mind, something in need. Oh, so you didn't tell me Jerry was coming. Do invite him in, and I'll get us all a nice glass of sherry. Yeah, aren't you going to invite me in, Nelsie? Jerry, I... I... I should have shot you at the door. Give me the case, Elsie. Still treating the encephalitis, Jerry? Did you read the label? I'll be on the train before you're awake, Jerry. You'll never find me in Auckland. Elsie. The case. My knees! You've got my briefcase. You topped Elsie, you bugger! I 
always hated the countryside. Too many allergens. But in the end, it wasn't the sinusitis. Hell, it wasn't even the Tapa Nui flu. The most dangerous thing in rural New Zealand is rural New Zealanders. <laughs>